Jo, halt zurück zu Fight Night Champion. Wir haben letztes Mal, ja, hier Andres rechte Hand, die war ja kaputt. Die läuft jetzt wieder. Und jetzt wollen wir mal gucken, wie es weitergeht, weil sein Bruder ist ganz schön genervt von diesem Frosty Boy. Mal gucken, wie es weitergeht. So the heavyweight career of Andre Bishop tries to move forward tonight. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my broadcast partner Teddy Atlas. Coming to you from the Thomas Mac Center, where tonight the unbeaten Andre Bishop will face the veteran heavyweight, Dwight Cooper. Dwight Cooper, mm-hmm. So, what's he doing? Du bist nur besiegt. Cooper catches Bishop Whoa. clean. And oh no, there's blood over the right eye. Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, his corner man's gonna have to take care of The cup man's gonna have to stop that bleed. But that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now, be better. Good jab by Cooper. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you Come tell on, your charge, hey, go after it, worsen that cut? No, actually, I don't, because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. How important is it for a big heavy hitter, a power puncher, to have space, to not be smothered? Well, he can't use his power if he's in a phone booth, so to speak. He has to have a little bit of room to be able to use that great weapon. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. Focus, focus. Snapping that jab. How about that four punch combination? Wow, is he defensively sound? How about that hook by Andre Bishop? Oh, nice Good nice. looking right hand after he got hit. Good one two from Bishop. He landed that right hand flush against Cooper. Mm, oh. A lot of blood now coming from above that right eye of Andre Bishop. That cut us. that Cooper opened up is significant. You know, mm, some fighters good. handle punches all right. They get tested, you know, they get dropped, they get up, but they get cut. They don't handle that, they panic. We're going to find out now his mental state, how strong he is in that area. Does he handle this the way he needs to? Don't save anything, just let it go. Strong enough. Don't fight his fight, jab and move. Okay, aber geknackt haben wir den noch nicht, ne? Runde 2, let's go. Beginning of round number 2 here and let's see how long that cut over the right eye can stay Ach, patched up. Gus Carisi was working on Rick. it for the full 60 seconds after that first round, but who knows if it'll maintain itself. A headshot block. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Andre Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover. And Cooper's hurt by a big, what a big shot. Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down oh, and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three, four, five. Cooper's getting back up to his feet after being knocked down. Now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Cooper's clearly a solid. Oh, he 
Just not that soon. Bam. Will he get up from this? Hmm, ich glaube nicht. Das war fies. Fällt irgendwie so ein Baum. Oh, ja. Andre Bishop saw his own blood and became a raging bull. The knockout over Dwight Cooper is his. Ja, <lacht> der weiß gar nicht, wo er ist. Er ist nach Hause. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top 10. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Müssen wir trainieren? Oder auch nicht einfach rein, oder? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening everybody and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City for our heavyweight main event. Top 10 ranked so. Kobe Nichols against Andre Kobe Bishop, Nichols. the comeback kid. Teddy Nichols, number eight in the world, a legitimate heavyweight contender trying to land himself a world championship. Andre Bishop, a former middleweight who went away due to legal problems and now comes back as a contending hopeful in the heavyweight division. Well, it won't be the first time a smaller guy beat a bigger guy if Bishop wins this fight. You go back in the history of this sport, many smaller guys have moved up in weight and been successful. Bishop wants to be added to that list. Nichols is making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Mm, sieht auch nicht mehr aus. Mm. Hi everybody. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. Stop! That's the kind of officious referee that can cost a fighter about. The ref is saying that was a low blow and taking a point away from Andre Bishop. here in front of us going up against the guy who can do a little bit of everything a boxer puncher well skilled good athlete well conditioned yeah the big punch i think is going to be in trouble especially as the fight goes late he's going to get more and more desperate and he's going to look for that one bomb and usually when you know it's coming you can avoid it good block by Nichols. keep your head moving you remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. That's a good block by Nichols. The midst to the straight right. Andre Bishop's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Nichols is in a bad place right now. He was tagged. He got blocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Don't let him get to you. Yeah. Those shots were low, Gus. I know, kid, I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. Mm-hmm. That's the condition. Going? Forgive me this fight. Going? I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out, okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs. Okay. You got it? Oh, I got okay. it. Stay Alles upstairs. Schön, schön upstairs. Nicht downstairs. Gut, gut. Cool. 
So a fresh round is underway. But is it a fresh fighter? Nichols' corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner. Oh, what a left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, he goes down bam, hard. Bam, bam, bam. And now he's got a how real how problem him. ahead of him. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump Ooh. on him. Two, three, four, five. Nichols is going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Two, three, four, five. Andre Bishop knocks out Kobe Nichols. And consider this. He fought the majority of the fight with hesitance for going to the body. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you, this meeting was not my idea. It was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else, never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. Not done. Oh, schon verdammt. Sehr frisch. Noch mal verdammt. Das läuft. 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 Okay. Hmm. Ach so, und loslassen. Okay. Raymond is worried. Raymond's wanted this opportunity his entire life. Since the two of you were kids. Ah, ich glaube, ich werde es nicht machen. He wants to shine brightly. Wants to get out from under your shadow. Auch nicht, Junge. So he's gonna fight like hell. He's got something to do with the world. Hey, triff mal was. To himself. Ah, ja. You gotta give this 100%. You're not gonna be doing Raymond or yourself any favor by taking it easy on. Or by looking for a way out. You gotta give it 100%. Nur die Einfachen für die Dosis, ne? Das kriegen wir hin. Sauber. Na gut. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. So here we go. We welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas for one of the more unique and much anticipated heavyweight fights. Brother against brother, a story as old as time now plays out in a heavyweight eliminator as the older brother, Andre Bishop, faces his younger brother, Raymond Bishop. These men have been estranged and at odds with each other. Now they settle it opposite each other in the ring. Raymond Bishop's the kind of fighter who you just know has no self-doubt. Look at the way he's making his way down to the ring right now. You can see it in his eyes. Oh, he's Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Here we go. Here we go. Round number one. Brother versus brother. Bishop versus Bishop for a chance to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh. 
finish with the hook, okay? Smooth him. Move your head! Kann sein, dass man ihn gar nicht knacken kann. Er steckt ja alles ein, oder Schlecht. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Scored well up there with the right hand. Und macht gar nichts, ne? Ja, den kriegt man gar nicht geknickt. Ja, und, und Andre ist ein bisschen ausgelutscht. Good block. Nice! Nice! What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there! Wieso denn? Let's pick it up, okay? He might be a little brother. He's got a big punch. And he's gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Great combo! Wow! Okay. How will he overcome okay, das ist so gedacht, this? Oder? Dass er das Ding gleich gewinnt. Ja, okay, der wird schon gesaved. Steh auf, Mann, steh auf, Junge! Okay, er wird schon bis 10 gezählt. Also, ich nicht ganz gewinnen. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion Isaac Frost. Welcome to Las Vegas and the MGM Grand, where there is a great atmosphere for this heavyweight title fight. And why not? We have two of the best in the business going at it. As the young upstart, Raymond Bishop, who earned his title shot by knocking out his brother Andre, finds himself now opposite the world champion, Isaac Frost. Great anticipation here, great crowd. The reason why we have a great crowd, not just because you have two of the best, But you have two guys that have a style that almost guarantee that the fans are going to enjoy it. Fireworks from Bishop and Frost are anticipated. Let's see how it works out. Frost making his way to the ring now, and you can see how focused he is on the task at hand. That's just a little bit of a look, isn't it? He's a little bit. Touch 
Ich bin Frost. In der ersten Runde kaputt. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let, let me do it. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt. Right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Hmm, tricky. Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. Okay, und da dumm ist? If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, mm -hmm. you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding. The fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop. For the heavyweight championship of the world, may the best man win. Good evening and we welcome you to Las Vegas for the heavyweight championship fight between Andre Bishop and Isaac Frost here at the MGM Grand. 
Isaac Frost, one of the best power-punching, intimidating champions we've seen in the grand history of the sport, not long ago laid an absolute beatdown on Raymond Bishop, Andre's little brother. Now tonight, Andre seeks revenge with that's emotions running high, Teddy. Hey, and that's the key word there, Joe, emotions. You know, this sport is about skills and wills, but it's also about emotion. And not the way that a lot of people think. You can't get mad and go out there and be a good fighter, be a champion. You have to control that. You get mad, your opponent takes advantage of that. This is a true test whether or not Bishop can control those red-hot emotions. Isaac Frost making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. The 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 This is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any yeah. questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That was a little random, though. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Break it up. I want to see a nice, clean That's fight. That's enough, isn't it? Touch up. <laughs> Unglaublich. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 this guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid. This guy's a friggin' animal. You see what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. the brutal beating laid down on his brother Raymond from Isaac Frost. Many are wondering, can Andre even survive being in the ring with Isaac Frost? He can't even get out of the way. absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it coming. Worst kind of right hand you can catch. He should tie up here. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. The big, curly, dangerous Isaac Cross with a strong combination. And as is his M.O., Isaac Cross pressing the action, wasting no time in getting right after Andre Bishop. seconds of this first round he did not see that right hand at all he may want to tie up 
Well, once again, that wasn't a fantastic well, round by Andre Bishop, but I way. will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Frost is yet to get off good and clean against him. No, Bishop is doing what he needs to do. You know, he's making believe he's Claude Rains, the original Invisible Man. He is not wanting to be seen here tonight. Not seen by nice. Frost. Nice. Relax. Deep breath. Now listen, I don't want you to let this kid breathe. You got that? Will it be similar to round number one when we saw constant pressure Maybe being applied button. by Isaac Frost? He Let's dominated see. the early action. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Andre Bishop's not putting forth much offense at all. Now, listen, I get it. You put forth some offense, you got hurt, you were stunned in this fight, so now you're strictly thinking defense. But at some point, he's got to change. Yeah, he does, otherwise he can't win this fight. And his opponent is just going to keep coming, coming like that ocean, banging into that shore, and it's going to come further up the shoreline. It's not going to go away. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. Good job by Isaac Frost. He landed that hook very well that time. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Scores well to the head. Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. And now he has to grab. He has to get in close and make sure that he kills some time. Up top with the right hand. Komm schon. Ah, you see him with the left of the head there. Wow, what an uppercut! And this. Good work, Ted. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. <laughs> Number three is underway. Able to dismiss it. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope for Andre Bishop. That was a good body shot. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nice right after catching one by Andre Bishop. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight. Good stuff from Andre Bishop right here. Going to the body. Good, consistent work rate right to the body of Frost. Another right hand land. Able to block. 
Locked that away. It was targeted for his head. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. A good two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Well, he goes to the gut with the right hand. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. And that's the end of round three. Get some water. Good. Got him okay. Breathe. Now listen. You two are live punches. Okay, the 70 must man hopefully or 75. Das war hoffentlich irgendwie innerhalb der drei Runden. Das war dein Round, oder? Champ. Du gewinnst diesen Kampf. Du hast diesen Kampf. Du hast ihn. Ich brauche einen anderen Kampf, wie das. the fourth round. Bishop's at a very uh -oh. interesting stage of the fight. Not necessarily the moment when you're knocked down, but the start of the next round when your okay, opponent can look in your eyes, see like your legs, schon. and know exactly where you're standing. Aushalten. That's classic work with the double jab. Cross doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Teddy, you've made the point a few times that hey, it's nice to have something where you got the superior advantage. In this case, he's got the speed. But you can't fall in love with it too much. No, because what happens then, you're like a teenager that gets one of those sport cars. You know, he gets carried away, he doesn't respect the speed yet. And he starts to run red lights, he starts to do things that he shouldn't do. And that's what's happening here. He's starting to jump in with those quick hands. He figures he doesn't have to respect the dimensions other guys have to. And when he's jumping in, he might get caught. There might be a cop there, or a punch there, to nail him. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Andre Bishop's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Very accurate two punch combo by Andre Bishop. So, the 8 seconds are going to pack, Junge. Solid left hand to the head. All right. Deep well, this is a good sign from Andre Bishop here as he continues to land body shots against Isaac Frost. Well, he's trying to slow him down a little bit. You know, if you can't hurt a guy up top, you go downstairs. You don't have to be the bigger puncher to slow a guy down or hurt a guy in the body. All you have to do is be consistent and catch him in the right spot. You need to commit to the body shots, Andre. Slow this guy down and take some of that power away from him. Yeah, I'm good. Back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. And Isaac Frost able to open up a cut above Andre Bishop's eye. That is not a good sign for the challenger. Yet another body shot comes in against Frost from Bishop. Bishop's completely missing the jab. When that's not there, oh, you're going to dug yourself a big hole. Oh, that's like saying I want to go swimming. Guess what? There's no water. <laughs> you need water to swim. You need to jab to fight. To set Andre Bishop just absorbed a huge punch. He hasn't been in this position too many times before, so you wonder whether or not he knows what to do to survive, how to grab on. Oh, 
werde dann doch nur durchhalten. Personality hurts him because he's gonna want to get right after the guy and he shouldn't. Two, three, yeah, no, this is That's like good. a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring and he is thinking of that right now, believe me. Three minutes. Aber der Kack ist scheiße. Oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Dre. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. Clearly refreshed heavyweight champion Isaac Frost. He's ready to go here in this round. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Isaac Frost is going to come after that cut above the eye. And you can see he is holding his guard up high, trying to protect him. gets up on his feet right now what he has to do is he has to kill a little bit of time he's got to move his head he's got to be defensive minded clear those cobwebs a little bit then think about winning the round later the trainer of andre bishop was talking about the fact that hey this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division he wants him to block some of these big blows nice Isaac Frost can sense blood in the water here, and let's see if he jumps on it. Andre Bishop's cut over the eye is in a really bad spot, and it doesn't look good at all. It's threatening his chances of winning this fight. Well, the game has just changed. You know, he's playing blackjack in Vegas, and he was playing $10 a hand. Now he's got to play $1,000 a hand. He's got to take a chance. He's got to catch up. Move around the ring. You got that? Okay, let's go. Move around the ring, okay. Let's not begin. Look at this. Here we 
go. Action to start the seventh round. Frost Corner has to be pleased with everything they've seen so far tonight. Consensus ringside is that this is a one-sided fight that he's in complete control on the scorecards. Yeah, well, he's having his way, and it's not going to change unless he gets a little cocky here. If he starts looking for maybe one shot instead of putting them together the way he's doing, maybe it allows his opponent to have a little bit of hope, a little ray of hope, get back in this fight. The jab has been able to carry the night for him so far. Why so, Teddy? Well, first of all, he's been able to get it off at the right time. His opponent, that sweet spot, you know, you hear about that in baseball. You want to just hit that ball in the sweet spot where the jab, he's catching his opponent just as he's starting to get into his range before he can get off. Crashes home with the uppercut. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. At the halfway point of round seven, Bishop's right hand scores well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Isaac Frost doing well here with that two-punch combination. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Where's the jab at, champ? Let's go, champ! Oh, what an uppercut. Combination by Isaac Frost right there. The jab and then the straight hand. Good body shot. The right hand came home. This is where the heavyweight champ knows how to close the show. Isaac Frost attacking that cut above the eye. And the referee is thinking about stopping this fight. You can just tell. Oh, I like it. Nice work, champ. Just like that. Back to the head. Frost putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And playing around with him. Bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's mm -hmm. under control. You know that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah. It seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power. And you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested. Bishop plans another combination. Teddy Frost looks tight. Wow, what a massive shot. Oh, okay. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Yes. Yeah. Hey up, bitches! We trust this all right. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to wish you could. But you might have some problems running things from the pen. Hey. We had a deal. Oopsie. He gave me your work. She didn't give you my work. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better do it! Auch wenn das Ding schon tierisch, was weiß ich, von 2008, ne? also wenn man nur 10 plus Jahre verbaut ist, ne? ist doch immer noch ganz nass. Da wird von mir auch nicht schlecht. Also, spielt das doch mal gerne mit, äh, selber. Macht schon Laune. Also, bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.